The light came into the world, but men loved darkness. God stands in the divine assembly. In the midst of the gods, he gives judgment. O Lord, will you judge unjustly and favor the cause of the wicked? Do justice for the weak and the orphan. Defend the afflicted and the needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Set them free from the hand of the wicked. Unperceiving they grope in the darkness, and the order of the world is shaken. I have said to you, you are gods, and all of you sons of the Most High. And yet you shall die like men, you shall fall like any of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you rule all the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. The light came into the world, but men loved darkness. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. How lovely is your dwelling place! Lord God of hosts, the less old is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow finds herself alone, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altar. Lord of hosts, my King and my God, they are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. O David, in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. The Lord God of hosts Happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places, In these last days, God has spoken to us by a son. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, 
for the coastlands and all to dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwell. So let the inhabitants of Sedai exalt and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry, against his enemies he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence, I have said nothing holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills, all the herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind by their journey, by paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. In these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. As His majesty is, so also is His mercy. The Lord is king with majesty and robe. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you may turn not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O oh Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O oh Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surging of the sea. The Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord until the end of time. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. As His majesty is, so also is His mercy. reading from the book of Judith. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test as he did our forefathers. Recall how he dealt with Abraham, how he tried Isaac, and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him.
May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters of Shining Star of the Church, who reflect the Father's light, are revealing to us the mystery of the Word, eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all, O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming a witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit, Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.